Hi everyone, Dr. Matthew Kaufman here of the Institute for Advanced Reconstruction to talk about phrenic nerve reconstruction. We published uh, recently in the Annals of Plastic Surgery on our 400 case series, which is a real milestone uh, in that it's the largest worldwide experience with uh, phrenic nerve reconstruction. We really are the premier center. Uh, very few places in the world are performing this surgery. Phrenic nerve reconstruction is something that we pioneered approximately 14 years ago to treat uh, diaphragmatic paralysis. Uh, using standard uh, nerve microsurgery techniques and applying them to a new problem. To develop a procedure such as phrenic nerve reconstruction, we had to start at the beginning, at, at ground zero really. Patients were inquiring about uh, diaphragm paralysis issues and uh, had nowhere to turn. They were looking online and they found our site. We started pursuing this, we started looking into this as a viable option. Fast forward 14 years, we've performed over 500 cases We've published uh, more than 10 peer-reviewed articles, lectured at numerous uh, national and international meetings, and have had tremendous success in helping patients from all over the world. We've treated patients from every state in the United States and from every continent in the world except for Antarctica. To take an idea, to take a problem, and to find a, an answer to that problem. The publication in Annals of Plastic Surgery looks at uh, the, ex the outcomes of these patients undergoing phrenic nerve reconstruction for diaphragmatic paralysis. We recruited patients and enrolled them in the study to follow them over time to look at their one-year and two-year follow-up. The important thing is to, uh, that we wanted to demonstrate is that as time goes on after surgery, the improvement is progressive and steady. We wanted to see what happened when we followed these patients for a longer period of time. And indeed, what we were able to demonstrate is that the improvement in the diaphragm continues and progresses, and that the uh, patients get pro progressively better as time goes on. And that year over year, uh, the way that they report their outcomes and in the objective testing that we did, that would include pulmonary function tests, which are basically breathing tests, x-rays, electrical assessments of their phrenic nerve fu function, and uh, other quality of life surveys where they actually report their physical functioning. And all these things improve progressively over time, which is um, what we would expect with any type of muscle recovery. It also um, demonstrated that um, when you compare phrenic nerve reconstruction to other types of therapy, especially plication surgery, which is sort of the traditional approach for, for diaphragmatic paralysis, that we can really surpass the results of plication. In uh, publishing this paper is the acceptance in the medical community of phrenic nerve reconstruction. When there's a new treatment out there, uh, as would be expected, there's skepticism in the medical community. And I think with this paper uh, reaching the number of cases and the outcomes that we are seeing more and more in acceptance of this as the first line standard option for the treatment of diaphragm paralysis. We have broken through many barriers, we have developed a procedure, we have uh, shown that it's safe and effective. Really what we'd like to do is to continue to raise awareness through uh, medical publications, through uh, conferences and lectures, through uh, awareness in medical societies, specifically in the specialties that take care of these patients to continue to promote this procedure and to educate physicians on the effectiveness of this procedure. Internationally, we'd like to broaden our horizons and, and go into other continents and educate physicians in Europe and Asia and Africa and the Middle East and South America, for example, uh, on the utility of this, of this type of treatment uh, where it still may be unknown. And I think we uh, would like to um, uh, continue to have our patients speak for us, which we do, our success, uh, successful outcomes and our patients that have uh, had their lives uh, returned to them uh, to go out and, and, and speak on the effectiveness and the uh, wonderful uh, opportunities that this surgery has given them to restore their breathing function and their quality of life.